Right, even in single player. Okay. Um, so basically, Ethuar has brought this thing in to show us all today. Um, it's actually a Minecraft schematic which has been taken from Planet Minecraft and then using his tweaked XML sheet, he's actually got a... He's actually converted it to Star Maid, so there you have it. Um, I'm just going to go around, it's a Sovereign class, in, t in case you weren't familiar. And uh, we're just going to take a little look around. Who else is here? Announce yourself guys, who else is with me today? Metal Rain 300. And we've got Delmont still sitting in the Sirius. I gotta admit, one of the best things about StarMate is seeing something you made parked next to an iconic ship like this. That's for sure. Especially when there's a cargo container about to bump into it. Don't bump it! No. Anyway, down. it wasn't a perfect <laughs> My conversion. It wasn't a perfect conversion. The the, uh, spawn, the when I got into Smedic, my sheet converted it mostly well, but it got a couple of details wrong. Like for example, the weapon strips in the original Minecraft were made us were kind of yellowish. I think they tried to use a wool, and my uh, conversion sheet turned it into green hull, so I had to do a manual replacement with sand blocks. Right. And um, it converted some of the finer details into like heart uh, into like a uh, regular gray hole so they were hard to see so I had to turn them into hard and black holes so you could see the finer details and uh, I would want to take and replace the nacelle lights with lava but if I do that it would end up turning this little red strip in the middle into lava as well because that's red lights yeah no it looks and, great uh, it looks great you don't what need I to change it. Do, oh yeah, I do. What I think I'm going to do is I'm going to take and turn <laughs> the nacelle glow lights into lava, cover them up with glass, turn the blue bits behind that on the nacelles into ice crystals, and cover that with glass, and pretty much just leave the engines, the impulse engines alone, and replace the lights down the mi down the middle of the spine with just red hull. And then I've got to take and orient it because the core is facing the right direction, but the ship is like uh, tilted sideways. It didn't do that right. Hmm. So is it is it uh is it got engines and stuff or is it still in progress? It's, it's empty. It, it's a uh, it's <coughs> like a literally raw import. <laughs> it's just come across so well. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's like surprising, really. It's. It's a monster. It's 685 meters in length. So this Not is bad. like one of the largest ships I've ever taken, took and put my hands on. This thing's massive. God, it is terrifyingly pretty. It, it is. I'll take uh, 12. <laughs> <laughs> You just want your own personal fleet. Oh, and I've oh, yes. got another thing that's fresh from Smedit. Oh dear. Go on then, mate. 